my channel and today we're gonna do a clip in English again because it's a highly request and another highly request is for me to haul my perfume so which one like I use daily and which one I have which one I love which one I don't really like or yeah so these are all of my perfumes that I use and I have in my vanity yeah so let's get started let's start with this one okay this one is like the Odie's the one that I use like since like I was in grade like grade grade 10 grade 11 first it's like my first perfume in my life it's from Bulgari it's a but it's a mama it's kind of like a baby powder the smell which I love it and I'm scared that it's gonna be discontinued cuz they stop continue it for like a while and it came back so yeah and it's really like hard to find but it's itulet itulet means it's a perfume that doesn't last long it smells like baby it smells like my nephew <laughs> so I love it it's like okay you can use like every day for like everyday use daily use or some or some day that you didn't like um, dress up that much or you just want to go out for like a grocery shopping stuff like that so this is the purpose I use this one my favorite one these two are the most favorite one that I used last year and this year look you can see see I use it every single day like literally every day but I love this one more than this one because this one is more expensive Okay, this one is Tom Ford Naroli Portofino. There's two Portofino, I think, but this one is, I think I like the smell more. Yeah, it's fresh. Ah, uh, it's fresh. Yeah, I use it every day and I use it for like, okay, for an event or like every day, literally every day. You can see it nearly ran out. And this one is Aqua de Palma Bergamot. This one is also fresh. Yeah, it's fresh. I think it's unisex for both. Men's okay, women's good. I like this one too because it's fresh. I don't like something like fruity sweetness. Not really. Not really my type. I like something like fresh fresh. So yeah, this one. And another became my one of my favorite again is this one is from Lo Labo. This one is Bergamot. It's also fresh again. See, that's my name. If you buy, if you buy in store, but if you buy it online, you cannot put your initials in. Yeah. So you have to buy it in store. Okay, this one too. This one is also Bergamot again. So I'm gonna go go through all the Bergamots. This is from Malin plus Go S. I bought this from Space and Kane in London. It also smells similar as this one, but I think this one it smells better. It's grassy. I don't know. Men kiao wa men kiao. Man men kiao So. I like that one better. Next, that smells similar again is this one. This one is Amis Anjadang Zelino. Okay, sorry, my French. <laughs> this one, my friend God got it from me for my birthday. So, this one, you can also put your initial. It's like a gift. I don't really want to use it because I don't want to use it. It smells kind of the same. But like this one, this one. And this one smells similar. The one that I use for when I go out, like fitness also, is this one. It's Fresh Life, this one. Because it's something that's fresh and powdery, like this one, so I think it's better. It suits for me to go out with the sweats and stuff. It doesn't stinky after it sweats, so yeah. Let's go for this one. By Reto, you guys know this brand. They have like loads of smells, and this one is the most favorite one for me. It's Gypsy Water. This one. This one is the only one that smells sweet from all of my perfume. <sighs> smells so classy and smells so like lady. Okay, move on to Jo Malone. I have one. Two, three, four, five. If you guys know Jo Malone, you can like mix the smells together. 
which like you can use this a little bit and use that a little bit and it smell and it becomes another smell. The most famous one that ev nearly everybody that used Jo Malone has is the English pear and freesia. This one is the most famous one, but it's kind of too sweet for me, so I have to mix. So I kind of mix the English pear with this one. Is the wood, wood sash and sea salt. And I got this from the event, so yeah. This smells is more fresh than the English pear, so when it combines together, it really smells good. It's the lime basil and mandarin. I don't really use this one because I don't know. I don't I don't think it smells good on on me. But it smells good like for the room. So basically after like when I wake up and when I'm gonna do like makeup and stuff, I always like spray in my room. It smells so so good. It's a lime basil and mandarin. It's felt it smells so fresh. Like this one was my second bottle already. <laughs> Everybody's like this. Smells fresh and yeah, I like it. And another one that I like is the white jasmine and mint. This one. This is also my second bottle. Yeah, this one's fresh. Fresh, fresh. Guys, yeah, sorry, but this one is already discontinued. It's called White Fig and Kazix Color. This one. So I stopped using it because I want it still. I don't know, I love it because it smells so good. It smells like I'm in the sound of music. Like, no, but guys, seriously, it smells so good. If you, if some of you guys know this smells, please comment down below and share your experience. I love this. Okay, that's it for Jobelo. Schnell. Okay, this one. Look, this one's like huge. And I've been using this a lot, but it doesn't go down at all. So this one is like um, Chanel uh, de Cologne. But this one is too lit, so it doesn't really stick on you that much, so yeah. Don't expect to go out all day with this smell because it doesn't stick. But it smells good, it's fresh. Again, it's fresh. Again! This one is like, you can like put it in your purse, you can put it anywhere with you, like after a shower at the gym or something like that. It's called Coco Masmoselle. It's very convenient though. It smells good. So basically, this one is gonna be in my purse for the day I go to the gym. Cause you don't want to like carry this around or carry this around. It's so heavy and takes up all the space in your bag. Yeah. And you don't wanna break it. So this one, it's yeah. The packaging is really convenient. Okay, this one is also I didn't use it on me. I use it like in my room, in the living room because it's like you enter a boutique, a Chanel boutique. It really does smell like Chanel boutique, seriously. I don't know what's the name, but yeah. Paris, Venice, Chanel, this one, this one. So I use it with my living room, my room, stuff like that. Um, this one is quite old already. It's jazz from Yves Saint Laurent really old already. It's one of my mom's favorite perfume so she has only one. This is the only one she has in her in her vanity so yeah and I kind of like it too. It's fresh again. I think this one is kind of unisex. I kind of like men's perfume more than women's perfume. That's it. That's it for my perfume. Okay guys so a tiny tips for choosing a perfume is like you have to go try it first, like maybe at Sephora. You go in and you spray it on yourself. You leave it first, don't buy it yet. Go walk around, like shopping for like an hour and two. And then smell it again if you guys like it or not. And come back. Because sometimes the first smell that you, that you spray, it's not gonna be the smell that lasts at the end. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Yeah. Everybody doesn't have the same smell. I mean like, you know, the same smell Smell of yourself So the perfume that combines with your smell, your body smells It's gonna change the smell again My trick for applying the perfume is to do like this 
and go inside <laughs> like that because it's gonna apply like literally everything or sometimes I go on to here my pulse like that boop, and then leave it don't smush it because the smell is going to change okay so i hope you guys like this clip and hope it helps to decide which smells you like or not so please go try it first don't click online and buy it now seriously don't yeah and hope you guys like this clip and please give us a thumbs up and press subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next clip bye